Welcome to Santa Clara University. My name is Lavrit and I teach math here at SCU. In this video, I'll discuss our calculus readiness exam or CRE, who needs to take it, when and how to take it, and what your score on it means in terms of what math class you can enroll in. The CRE is an assessment that we use to place you into a math course. And to do that, we need to get an accurate picture of what you know now. For our CRE, we use a tool called Alex and based on your results, Alex determines what your current strengths and weaknesses are so that we can find the best first math class for you. You should take the CRE if you're planning to take first quarter calculus, which is math 11, 30, or 35, or you're planning to take pre-calculus. And we have a few different versions of pre-calculus available for you to choose from depending on what the best fit is for you. We have three different calculus sequences at SCU depending on your major. Math 30 and 31 are for business majors and some econ majors. Math 35 and 36 are for life science majors such as biology or neuroscience. And Math 11 through 14 is for STEM majors like computer science or chemistry. You do not need to take the CRE if you don't need to take calculus at SCU, or if you do need to take calculus but you already have AP exam credit for it, or if you've already taken calculus or pre-calculus at another college, in the second and third situations, you should email the registrar's office and their email is listed below here. Or if you've already taken pre-calculus at SCU. The deadline to take the CRE is June 15th, but that's just a soft deadline. If you miss that deadline, that's okay. You'll just want to make sure you take it by your summer registration. How does AP credit work? If you took the calculus AB exam and you scored a 4 or 5 on it, you can enroll in second quarter calculus, which is math 12, 31 or 36. If you score a three, you can enroll in first quarter calculus, which is math 11, 30 or 35. And if you score two or lower, then you'll need to take the CRE to determine the math class you can enroll in. If you are going to receive your AB exam score after your summer registration, please take the CRE before your registration. That way we can make sure that you are not locked out of registering for a math course. If you took the AP Calculus BC exam and you scored a four or five, you can enroll in third quarter calculus, which is math 13. If you scored three, you can enroll in second quarter calc, which is math 12, 31, or 36. If you scored two or lower, then you'll need to take the CRE to determine what math class you can enroll in. If you are gonna receive your AP score after your summer registration, and you took the AB exam, maybe the previous year, then use that score tentatively to register. Once you get your BC score, if it lets you enroll in a higher level math course, then email us so that we can help you switch. Our email is credirectors at scu.edu. If you didn't take the AB exam, then you should take the CRE before your registration. After you get your BC score, if it would let you enroll in a higher level math course, then please email us. Before you take the CRE, be ready to spend some time thinking about math. So get yourself in an environment where you can focus for a couple of hours. The CRE covers math before calculus. So it covers arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and trig. If you'd like to practice, I'll link some practice materials in the description below. You can take the CRE one time. The interface in Alex defaults to saying that people have multiple attempts, but that's not the case. You just have one attempt at the CRE. So if you would like to practice, it's definitely a good idea to do that beforehand. The big goal of the CRE is to determine what you still remember from your math courses. So it's really about what you know now. It's very common for folks when they begin at SEU to repeat a math class that they may have taken in high school. That's something that I did when I started college. And overall, getting a chance to get more practice with those foundational skills helped me a lot in my future courses. It's important that you work on your own and that you're not using any calculators or outside learning aids. To take the CRE, you'll first log into my SEU portal, then you'll click on the Alex tile. From there, you'll enter in and you'll start the CRE. It'll ask you to install something called Lockdown Browser, which is some anti-cheating software because we really wanna make sure that it's your work that we're seeing. On average, the CRE takes about an hour and a half to complete, but we're gonna give you 48 hours to do it because we wanna make sure that time is not a limiting factor. How do you interpret your score on the CRE? If you get a 76 or higher, you place into first quarter calculus, which is math 11, 30 or 35. 
If you score below that, you place in a pre-calculus. But if you score between a 72 to a 75, you can have a CRE retake. To do that, you'll need to complete 15 hours of prep work in Alex and email us by July 31st. Our email is credirectors at scu.edu. If you score between a 68 to a 71, you can also have a CRE retake, but you'll need to first complete 25 hours of prep work in Alex. If you score between a 61 to a 67, you don't have the option for a retake. You'll just get placed into pre-calculus. And if you score less than a 61, you'll also get placed into pre-calculus. But that score is indicating that it's gonna be a really good idea for you to do some additional prep work before taking pre-calculus. So one of the ways to do that is to take a college algebra class over summer before taking pre-calculus at SCU. I'll end by discussing our math advanced program. This is a free online three-week course in August designed to get students ready either for calculus or pre-calculus. It's open to 160 students. The deadlines to be eligible are you have to take the CRE by June 15th. After that, email invitations will get sent out and you will need to accept that email invitation by June 30th. There are two courses. The first is Math Advanced Calculus. To be eligible, students need to score between 65 to a 75 on the CRE. Folks who successfully complete this course will be able to register for calculus then in fall quarter. The second course is Math Advanced Precalculus. This is built for students who score less than a 40 on their CRE, and it's really designed to help them hone and build up their foundational algebra skills so that they are ready to thrive in their precalculus courses in the fall. So I hope this video was helpful and welcome again to Santa Clara.